Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to plan Instagram content for your food and beverage restaurant. Make sure you guys stay tuned. So many people have been asking us, how do we create such beautiful feed for our ice cream shop? And how do you basically come up with the ideas to shoot and the types of content to po post and whatnot? And it is actually something that is super difficult and frustrating for us at the same time um, when we first began. When we first began, I still remember, we spent like two, three hours trying to figure out what we should be posting, figuring out about the caption to write and figuring out whether um, the, the pictures that we take are polished enough and whether people actually like them. Sometimes we post content and it is like engaging super well. People like it a lot. Other times we take pictures and we think it's going to be a hit, but it's a dud. We don't even know what works, what doesn't work, which is the reason why I'm shooting this video. Last week, I shot a video about how do you create 30 days of content for your Instagram feed all in one day. And after that video went out, so many of you guys have been emailing us and asking us, how do you actually plan for content? And that's what this video is all about. So let's dive right into this, okay? Number one thing when it comes to content creation is to figure out what people are looking to see. And what I mean by that is, Go into your current feed right now and see what types of pictures people are actually engaging to. Not just random troll comments, okay? We're talking about comments that people actually enjoy your product. People are like, oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, this is really cool. How do you do that? When people ask you questions, you know they're engaging. When they give you the likes, that means they like it, okay? Check out the types of content that has the most engagement, that has the most likes. You're gonna be able to find a pattern from there onwards. Sometimes you'd be posting behind the scenes pictures. Sometimes you have long form um, messages and content, or it could be videos, it could be pictures. It doesn't matter what it is. Find that common thread of what people are actually looking for in your specific content and that's how you're gonna be able to do it. Go on your competitor's feed and check out basically all their posts and see which one has the most engagement, which one has people talking about. And then we can categorize that type of post, whether it be a long form post, whether it be a short form, whether it's a quote, whether it's a behind the scenes, whether it's a how-to video, figure out specifically what your demographic are looking for. Now that you know the types of content that engages the most, get, that gets the most like, that's the cue of the types of content that you need to start creating more of, whether it be a long form post or whether it be a behind the scenes, this is your customers telling you what they want. So when in the future, it should influence the type of content that you're creating. That's how you find out the types of content. The second way of planning your content is this crazy tool called Answer the Public. And what this does is basically you put in your keyword and once you put in your keyword, it automatically generates the way that people search using this keyword. Anywhere from, you know, how do you make ice cream to what types of ice cream cream is the, is, is, is the best or which type of ice cream is the fattest. And from all these questions, these are all ideas on the types of content you can create because these are the types of content that people are actually searching for online. And this tool allows you to never run out of ideas because it has hundreds of questions in there just for one keyword. So imagine if you're running a restaurant, you have tons of ingredients in there, then now you have tons of content that you can actually shoot for your demographic. This is a super powerful tool. You're not gonna run out of topics to talk about because after using this tool, you can put in any keywords and you're gonna generate tons and tons of keyword ideas of how people are searching for this specific term. So next time, if you're thinking about creating content, this is a really good tool that allows you to come up with content ideas. Now, the third way to content plan for your Instagram is to look at all the events. I'm talking about all the events from National Hot Dog Day to National Ice Cream Day to National Strawberry Day. These are all crazy ideas that you can actually implement and create content for, for your Instagram feed and for your food and beverage business. Be creative with this whole aspect. This is what makes you become relevant. This is what gets people talking about you. And that's the whole point of us running Instagram is to be able to stay in the loop. Be in front of customers and be top of mind. That's how you're gonna get them through the doors all the time. And ultimately, that's why you're doing this. 
So make sure that if you're doing your content planning, this is a super crazy tool that we always use is to be able to check the types of events that are happening on a daily basis. And we plan this a whole year in advance. So go on Google, check out the types of events that are happening. And then from there onwards, find the type of events that actually you can have um, different spins on. So for example, if there's a national ice cream day for us, we make a nice national ice cream flavored, right? If it's national strawberry day, then we make a strawberry ice cream so on and so forth right so then also there are the big holidays that are happening as well mother's day halloween christmas those are all opportunity for you to be able to create content for instagram and to stay relevant now that we talked about the three types of content that you can create whether it be your own engaging content and your, co your competitors engaging content to what the public is actually searching for to the types of events that are happening within the area now we're going to dive into the type and the format of content you wanna be able to create for your Instagram feed. There are basically three types of content format, video, story, and pictures. Now the video. Video is super important and it is the future because of the fact that everything is fighting for our attention. Simply having a picture is just not good enough. Video is the way to go, which is the reason why so many people are creating videos out there nowadays, because it captures your attention, because this is the way to be able to come out from the noise. So if you have an opportunity, definitely go hard and go double down on creating videos for your content. Because if pictures says a thousand words, then video is times a hundred of that, okay? It's some possible, Video ideas could be behind the scenes. You can be taking videos of your chef cooking, or it could be taking pictures and videos of your customers enjoying your product, or taking a video of you uh, creating a, a product, or taking a video of you um, or your team going out there and shopping, basically telling a story. The whole point of doing video is to make it engaging and make it fun. So make sure that if you have an opportunity, shoot more videos for your brand. The second format of content is pictures. I'm not gonna dive too deeply into this. Be creative with your pictures. Make sure that it's actually fun. It tells a story. And picture is only one thing. Focus on the caption. Tell a story within the caption. A long form caption is what really what connects with the people. And that's how you're gonna be able to get more engagement. Tell a story, teach them something be educational at the same time. The third format of Instagram content is IG story. This is something that is so underrated at this point. This is something that a lot of people don't utilize because they think it's something that is so unpolished, which is why they don't, they don't post so much on IG stories. If you think about um, pictures and videos as the finished movie product, then IG stories is the bloopers. It's the stuff that engages with people with people. It's the stuff that actually truly connects with people because it shows the rawness, the realness, and people love that. So if you have an opportunity, shoot some behind the scenes videos on your IG story. Show people how you make the product. Show people where you shop for your ingredients. Show people how people are engaging with and, and trying your products and loving it. Show them what you're going through. That's where you're gonna truly connect with your customers is by going on IG stories. The whole point of you doing Instagram content and planning all these at the end of the day is to connect with your customers. And why would you wanna connect with them? Is to make sure that you make them feel a certain way, to have that trust, the credibility for them to come in again and again. That's the whole point of you shooting and planning Instagram content is to connect with your customers, to develop the raving fan base. Today, we just shared with you how do you plan your content and the types and the formats of content that you can distribute out there. I really hope you find value in this. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Leave us some comments below and tell us how you connect with your customers. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.